The shrimp and crab in this tank may not be feeling a lot of stress, all because scientists have put human antidepressant drugs in the water. Drugs that can control serotonin can have a, a wide-ranging impact on organisms. For example, these snails over here have been shown to drop off the sides of tanks at certain concentrations of antidepressants in the water. This isn't some crazy experiment by mad scientists. The researchers are replicating real-world conditions. They say the drugs humans take don't entirely break down. The antidepressants end up in the environment. The ultimate repository of the water in our rivers are the estuaries and then the oceans. Um, so we are uh, continually flushing out all our human waste down into the sea. Scientists say they've already discovered that male fish showed female traits after being exposed to estrogen in the water. We don't know yet whether the antidepressants that we're currently looking at are having an effect in the rivers and streams and, and in the oceans around our countries. Um, but we do know from laboratory studies that the concentrations that we detect them in the environment can have sometimes very subtle but sometimes very dramatic effects on the biology of these aquatic organisms. For one thing, antidepressants make shrimp head toward the light instead of the dark. That might keep them from seeking out spaces under rocks and other hiding places that protect them from other animals seeking a fresh meal. Ultimately, the researchers say humans should be more concerned about the impact of our drugs on the earth. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.